Creating a capsule wardrobe is when you take a few basic wardrobe staples and you mix and match them and turn them into a bunch of different outfits. That's what we're going to do today. We're going to take six wardrobe staples that you probably already have in your closet and we're going to mix and match them and turn them into 15 different outfits. I had so much fun making this video. I can't wait to show you how creative we can all be. And this is the thing. I want you to think about what you already have in your closet as you're watching this video. This is not to encourage you to go out and buy more. This is to encourage you to look into your closet, see what you already have, pull those pieces, and see if you can create similar styles with what we're gonna talk about today. Welcome or welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here today. If you wouldn't mind tapping the subscribe button down below, that really helps me grow my YouTube channel and it keeps you in the loop of when new videos go live every week. So let's get started with exactly what is a wardrobe staple? What is a wardrobe basic? So we're going to break that down into categories of is what, what is it? Then we're going to style these pieces. So Let's start with shoes. It's nice to have a pair of boots or booties in your closet, and they can be whatever neutral color you want them to be. They can be tan, brown, black, or all of the above, whatever you like. I enjoy also having a loafer. I like to have a neutral color loafer. I personally have a tan one and I have uh, black mules that are like loafers, but any stylish flat that you have in your closet is going to work. Third thing is to have a white sneaker. And again, this can be any, any style, any brand that you want. And then if you can have a neutral heel of some sort, and it doesn't even have to be high, it can be very low, but something that elevates the look a little bit to a little bit more dressier than maybe a flat loafer would be. All right, wardrobe staple bottoms. First thing is a great pair of black pants. Second is a black skirt and or dress. You don't have to have both, but if you can, that would be great. Black skirt. Third thing would be a pair of jeans. Good fitting jeans that you like, that fit your body type, that you feel comfortable and confident in. And then a pair of leggings. And then I would say a comfortable pair of pants. Like, I'm just gonna throw some things out there. Like a chino pant like a jogger and it doesn't have to be an athletic jogger it can be like a rayon jogger it can be a knit athletic jogger but some sort of casual pant like that moving on to tops so let's talk about the basic wardrobe staples with tops starting with a white t-shirt now in the winter that can be a long sleeve tee in the summer it can be a short sleeve tee but we're in the winter right now so we're going to be talking about warmer things to wear so a long sleeve white tee a long sleeve white button down now i prefer the no iron kind if you can find that that's just who, who likes to iron <laughs> so i like that then the third thing would be a striped tee or a striped sweater and you would be surprised at how versatile that can be. Next would be a turtleneck or big um, collars, the big collars that come out. That could be, that could take the place of the turtleneck if you don't like the high neck. And then lastly, a chambray shirt is a great staple piece. Moving on to dresses, okay. Everybody needs a little black dress in their closet. And it can be dressy, it can be casual, it can be in the middle, whatever you're comfortable with, but we all need that go-to black dress that is perfect for a number of occasions. I personally have one that's sort of casual, and then I have one that's sort of dressy. And when I just don't wanna to have to think, I just I can just grab it and go. It's one and done, one piece, so, so simple. So a little black dress and then an easy i would say an easy knit dress another thing would be um, a maxi dress to have to just throw on and lastly just another dressier dress that may be something like a sheath dress it may be like a fit and flare dress but a good go-to dress that's a little bit dressier that you could pull out on those times where you need to be just a little bit more elevated timeless outerwear pieces. That would be a denim jacket, 
It could be a black leather jacket. A trench coat is always timeless. Blazer, a cardigan. And when I name these things, it's not that you have to have all of them. You could have some of them, but these pieces are gonna work well and mix and match with each other. Now, last category is accessories. So, jewelry, you can't go wrong with studs, like beautiful stud earrings or hoops. Those are timeless classic pieces. So a belt, a good belt, is always gonna elevate your look just a tad. And then a good handbag, a structured, pretty, doesn't have to be designer, can be, doesn't have to be, but a pretty structured bag to go with all of your outfits. Now for the fun part. I love this. So we are gonna start with a pair of jeans and a white t-shirt. Now that's about as basic as you can get. So whatever jeans you have that you love, grab those. And then if you have a long sleeve white t-shirt, that would be great. Now, so we're starting, that's gonna be our foundation piece. And then we are gonna slowly start adding different pieces. The first outfit that we're gonna create with these two pieces, we're gonna add a belt, number one. Secondly, we're gonna add a blazer. Now we've already talked about all these pieces are just staple wardrobe pieces. Then we're gonna add a pair of flat loafers, a pair of hoops, a neutral bag that's a little bit dressier. It's more of like a leather bag. It's more structured. This is the basic t-shirt and jeans styled one way. All right, well, let's move on to the second way to style it. Same jeans, same white t-shirt. This time we're gonna switch out the loafers for a pair of white sneakers. And we're gonna take a striped sweater throw it over our shoulders, kind of for a little preppy look, and that's gonna be look number two with the staple pieces. This look has the same sneakers, only this time we've taken the sweater off, we've put a denim jacket on, and yes, denim on denim is popular right now. You can wear two pieces of denim in the same outfit. And lastly, popping on a baseball cap. Now, I'll be honest with you, I have not really been a baseball cap kind of girl, but that is trending this year in 2024. We are going to be seeing more baseball caps as a stylish thing. Baseball caps are starting to become more incorporated as a fashion piece. We're gonna see that this year. So I went ahead and just put that baseball cap in there for that. Last style for this foundation of an outfit, the white t-shirt, the jeans, is add a cardigan and it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to look like this one swap out the tennis shoes for a pair of booties they could be black they could be brown they could be neutral whatever color you want but that gives it an entirely different look and now you have all these different styles that you've created with the foundation of just jeans and a t-shirt before we go on I feel like I need to just say these are all wardrobe basics that I enjoy having in my closet that I find easy to style, but you do you. You put whatever is most comfortable on. This is just to give you ideas of things that, looks that you can create with items you probably already have. Second foundation piece that we're going to be looking at is a white button down blouse and a pair of black pants. Okay, so first we're gonna start, we see a clean slate. It's just a white blouse and black pants. This one in particular is a no iron and I will leave that as well as everything that I'm mentioning down in the description box below for you to check out and see. With a blazer, with low heels, instantly a different look, instantly a different, and then you throw a structured handbag in the mix, really take a look like this to the next level. Same base pieces, the white button down, the black pants. Now we're gonna keep the heels on. They're very low heels and they're very comfortable. And the pointy toe is still very much on trend. But this time, instead of the blazer, we're gonna put a denim jacket over it. Still very cute and put together, but the denim jacket just makes it a little bit less dressy than maybe the blazer. Still very put together look, again, Adding a structured handbag is going to elevate the look 
just a little bit more. Keeping with the black pants and the white button down, only this time we're going to put on that striped sweater and not throw it over the shoulders. But you know, now that I'm thinking about it, you could, you could throw it over your shoulders. That would be really cute. But I'm showing it on with the collar out. And then I've switched the shoes out with neutral loafers. And the bag I've switched out to a light pink bag. And this is just another a fun way to add another color in there. And it still looks cute, a little preppy, but put together and in a lot of cases work appropriate. For this last look with the black pants and the white button down, we are going to put on the same cardigan that you saw before, only this time we're gonna swap out the neutral loafers for black booties that have a heel. Again, easy look, it's it's such a, it's three pieces. Three pieces are gonna always be good. The, the bottom, the pant, and the layering piece. And this just makes it look that much more put together. And it's so easy to create all these styles. Moving on to the little black dress. Now this one is a maxi dress. It sort of skims the body and it is short sleeve. I can enjoy wearing this all year round because I live in a warmer climate. Throw a jacket on in the winter and leave it off in the summer. But this is just a clean slate, a black dress, no embellishments, just, just a black, simple dress. It does have slits on the sides. Now, the first way we're gonna style it is we're gonna take back out that tan blazer that I've already shown you several times, and we're gonna throw that over. We're gonna add those little heels that are pointed that have the the black and the tan on them and all of a sudden we have more of a workwear look a dressier look add the structured handbag in there good to go back to our foundational piece a simple black dress only this time we're going to put the white sneakers on with it we're going to add the denim jacket we're going to add a light colored structured handbag and some cool sunglasses. I should have said that in the accessories. I forgot to mention that, I'm sorry. But when you wear sunglasses, it just adds something really cool to the look. Again, the black foundational dress piece, only this time we're gonna keep the sneakers on. We're gonna take that striped sweater and we're gonna throw it over our shoulders for sort of a preppy look. See the pattern here? We are just mixing and matching the same pieces over, styled different ways, but there's not a whole lot of pieces that we're talking about here, but yet we're finding all these different ways to style them. Our foundational pieces for these next styles is going to be the same white t-shirt, the leggings. Now this particular pair is the faux leather leggings from Spanx. It doesn't have to be that pair, just any pair of leggings that you like. I think Black probably is more versatile than most other colors, but if you have a good pair of black leggings, that's a great base piece. So the first look we're going to do is we're going to put a denim jacket over it. We're going to add sneakers to it. And then I'm showing it with just a fun winter hat. You could easily swap that out for a baseball cap. It just any type of hat would add that other, another layer to it, another element to it that would make it creative and fun. Same foundational pieces, the leggings, long sleeve white tee. This time we're going to have the white sneakers on and we're gonna take that same striped sweater that I've been showing you over and over and we're gonna tie it around our waist. That is a sporty look. It's sort of like a weekend look, really fun, easy, comfortable, and you don't even have to think about it. White shirt, black leggings, sweater around the waist, white sneakers, you're good to go. Last look with these foundational pieces of leggings and a white t-shirt is to add a sweater blazer. Now you could wear the tan blazer that I've shown before, that would be fine. That one doesn't cover the bum, and I know some people that's important. And so I just wanted to show you, this is another option if you already have this. This is a sweater blazer that's a little bit longer, gonna cover the booty, and I just added a low heel for a dressier look. Again, you can add a structured bag and it's going to make it that much more elevated and just sharp and put together. All right, friends, I hope so much that you found value in today's video that maybe you learned something or it challenged you to think about items that you already have in your own closet and how you can style them. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to ask in the comments below and go ahead and like and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any videos. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. This is so much fun for me. I hope you're having fun too. Enjoy the rest of your week and I will see you in a few days.